Hello, welcome to Jeff Code Art. My name is Christy, and um, today I am sharing this kind of a strange pour. I've done one of these um, swipe techniques, and it turned out it turned out really good. Actually, I, I liked the the colors and the effect of using this. Um, super fancy plastic cake server. That's the, the tool I'm using. So proof that you don't, you don't have to spend a lot of money on supplies uh, if you want to try out acrylic pour. Um, I just had this in my kitchen from some cake from Publix, I think. And uh, it has a um, kind of a, oh gosh, I don't know the word, like a scalloped edge. So it creates this um, interesting texture when you drag it, drag it along the canvas. But um, yeah, I did this pour, what you're seeing right now, the purple and all that, and it was okay. I mean, it, it wasn't horrible, it wasn't great. So I thought, why don't I try this swipe technique? and see if I can make this look cool like the last one. So I'm just adding white paint along the top and then black right underneath it, which I'm not sure if I regret now, <laughs> but oh well. Um, and then green below it. And just a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon because I was able to buy myself a set of plastic condiment squirt bottles, which made doing this particular pour so much more convenient. I just mixed a whole bunch of black paint and used one of those squirt bottles because I see everyone on YouTube doing these videos using those and I'm jealous because I, I, yeah, there's so much mixing when you do acrylic pours, so much mixing. So if you can have a, I'd say if you're starting out doing an acrylic pour, just getting into that particular type of, of fluid art, you know, don't don't spend your money on a big condiment bottle or a set of them. You you don't. That's not necessary. I I'm a big reuser, so I would clean out my tin cans after making dinner, and I would use those to mix my paints in. And um, if I had leftover paint in it that I hadn't used, just cover that baby up with a little bit of saran wrap, rubber band it, do two layers of saran wrap just to be on the safe side. And you could probably, I mean, it will last you at least a week, sometimes longer. But um, yeah, I just, I'm so, I'm so grateful for Patreon. And, and having that money there, I could just, oh yeah, I need this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get it. So if you're watching this far, hit the subscribe button, please. I uh, would very much appreciate that. And now I've started the swiping and you can see the really cool cells forming with the, the white and black but I really want the purple from the original pour to show through. So I just keep coming through and trying to drag that paint down, but I really love that little um, bit at the top right corner. So I think I preserved that. <laughs> I think I did. I made a point too. Um, yeah, I really, you know what I should do at some point? I'm, I'm, I can't believe I haven't done it yet, but I think I was so, I've, I've done 
I've worked in nothing but black and white for a really long time. So pretty much 15 years of mostly no color. And I was itching to just start playing with color. I, I had worked a little bit in college. Well, that was a while ago um, in color, but um, I wanted to try it out again. And so I, I never did a black and white pour, but I really love that look of the, of the white. Like in some of the pours I've done recently, I'll do the pour. I don't tilt it to the point where it's dripping off the edges. So I come in and, you know, I still have empty canvas. I'll squirt some black paint around it. And um, just kind of flood around the 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 poor the poor bubble in the middle the poor pond we'll call it and um, and then I'll either come in with a blow dryer or a straw and I'll just um, blow it so that the the white oh, it's, it's just such a cool effect and some pores it has looked someone mentioned that it looked like the roots of a tree which I love I absolutely loved that so yeah Ooh, what if I did oh that's a cool idea okay I'm not gonna tell you yet I'll just do it later yeah, so I'll have to try out a black and white pour. I think this canvas was um, six by six. Oh, uh, just a tip. If you're starting out with acrylic pours, don't buy the canvas boards. Just don't do it. Don't do an acrylic pour on one of those cheap canvas boards and they're really they're really thin okay um, they're basically I think canvas that is glued to uh, a really thick piece of you know like I don't know mat board or, or something like that it will warp there's so much paint and then acrylic pours that it will just make the, the board uh, bend. So don't waste your money on those. I, I, it's appealing to buy those because they can be super affordable. But just don't do it. Just get a stretched canvas. Um, I've also heard of these um, easy flow panels. I think that's what they're called. And they're not, I don't know much about them, so definitely go and search them on Google. I think they might be a little more expensive than a regular stretched canvas. Um, I want to say it does not have the texture and toothiness that a canvas has. It's very smooth. Um, and the edges are rounded instead of these 90 degree corners, you know, of a, of square, of a square. Um, the, the, the corners, I think, are, are rounded, so it's more conducive to um, paint flow. I have not, I'll have to try one of those. I'm always, I'm still at that stage where I, I really want to be um, careful about the money I spend. Is it, is it going to be worth it? Um, but I think it, it might be worth it. Uh, maybe I can bookmark a, a little bit of my Patreon earnings and, and try out one of those easy flow panels. See what all the craze is about. And, oh, oh, that reminds me, because this is where I saw it. Hold on one second.
Okay, sorry about that. Um, but it made me think of this book that I purchased a little while back. And if you are looking to learn more about acrylic pours and you're really serious about sitting down and learning, not just, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to squirt some acrylic paint on a canvas. I'm not going to mix it with any, you know, pouring medium. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to try to move this sludge around on a canvas, which I have seen people do and I'm going to bite my tongue. <laughs> Don't do it. Stop it. Stop make, making me watch those, please. Um, if you are serious about learning about the supplies uh, that you can use, the different techniques, there is a really good book called Paint Pouring, Mastering Fluid Art, and it's by Rick Cheadle. And this book cost me... Well, the retail's $14.99, but I don't think I paid that. I probably got it off of Amazon. And it might have been like a sale for $9.99. Anyways, it's, um, yeah, it's a good little book. And I'm just going to open it up and see. It's 87 pages. And, um, he goes into, let's see, do, 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 bear with me. So he goes into a brief history of fluid artists. Um, chapter two is about setting up your studio. I should totally just do a separate video about this book. Um, that might be helpful. He shows you how to prepare your paints. And what I love about this particular book, so thank you, Rick Cheadle, is that he actually, um, he breaks it down depending on if you want to be like super serious and spend a bunch of money on archival paints, or if you just, you know, you want to use Elmer's glue. And he, he tells you how to do it. And I appreciate that. Um, especially when you're starting out. And then he just goes into a whole bunch of different techniques, a swipe with a knockdown knife, multi-swipe with a spatula, open cylinder, ribbon pour, swipe technique, puddle pour, flip and drag, the reserve flip cup, flip cup, and the dirty pour. Uh, and it just keeps going from there. Definitely worth uh, the money. If you are curious about this and you don't want your stuff to look totally crappy, now I've, I've filled up most of the video with my ramblings and we are at the end of the swipe technique. So I'm going to say this, I'm not super crazy about the color combo. I don't know if, if that um, light green was the right choice. I'm kind of regretting that, but I know someone out there is going to like that color combo. And maybe they'll watch this video. And if you're watching it and you love it, then let me know and I'll sell it to you. And we can work out a price. But, um, or if nobody wants it, um, oh, that's right, I had an idea of coming in and painting something in black and white and painting it into the pour. So I might do that if nobody wants to buy this one. And that's, uh, that's all she wrote. That's it. Um, again, thank you to all of my patrons. Oh gosh, Carrie, Lisa, Laurie, Karima, Michael, Sasha, Christian, Will, I think I named everyone. I hope I named everyone. I love you. I really appreciate all of your support. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, por favor. Bye.